Hi, y'all are. I'm glad for you to see me. I guarantee, and today we're going to make a crawfish mock shoe. And it's delicious, and you'll all get a big taste of this when this is all over with. Here's a legend who is the best storyteller anywhere around. I'm talking about Justin Wilson. He was one of my favorites for sure. And here he is now with a great one. But I've got to tell a story. I haven't told this story in a long time and I might just as well tell it right now. Years ago when I lived in Crowley, Louisiana, they had a place called Lotel. A dance hall was there. Man, and them kids would go there whew, on the weekend and have a good time. There were very few automobiles back then. You know, just, you, know, you see those old black buggies with the top on it, a nice pretty horse. And people would go there in them horses and they would dance and, and pass pleasure, have a good time. And I never forgot a fellow went there with his horse that he loved that horse. He curried that horse, dressed that horse up as much as he would let him do it. And so he went to Lotel to the dance. And man, he danced up a storm. He tied his horse in a nice shady spot. He danced up a storm there on a Sunday afternoon. And he got to thinking about his horse, and he went out to see about his horse. When he went out there, somebody had painted his horse a bright green, a beautiful green. <laughs> he went back in there, and he was mad. He was mad all over. Even fingertips were mad. That's how mad he was. And he went in there and the band was just to play and he hollered, who banned my horse? Nobody, nobody heard him. So he told the band, stop yourself and right now. The band stopped itself and right now. And he hollered, who painted my horse? Green, man. And the biggest man you ever saw in your life walked up to and says, I painted you horse. What about that, huh? The man looked at him and said, I just want to let you know he's dry and ready for the second coat. 